Um, why is OK Dork uh, your personal blog under your own name and not under AppSumo? I remember this is this is an interesting thing. Um, you were at AppSumo. You were the CEO of AppSumo at the time. AppSumo was growing and stuff circa uh, 2013, 14 yeah. around this time. And um, you started a separate channel for OK Dork. You started building your podcast, I believe, first, right? Under yeah. OK Dork, but not AppSumo. And I, I, I don't know if there was a lot of tension back then about it, but it was interesting that you went with your own name and not the company name. Do you know, what, what was the thought process behind that? The honest thought process is that I was hedging in case the company went under. Mm. I thought the company might go under one day and I wanted to have a separate thing. So if the company went under, I had this asset that I could do stuff with uh, in case AppSumo ever blew up. That was one of my like long-term fears, like I was going to screw it up. I think the self-sabotage is a common one for most people. So I felt like if I had something totally separate and I built up an audience of people that I had that I built relationships with, uh, if things ever went bad, I'd have that. So Interesting. That, that was my original thought. Well, I, I just see that uh, topic come up a lot when people are starting a blog or something like that or a social account. Are they like, should I be like the copywriting guy.com or whatever? I'm just like, well, if you're not already that person, I probably wouldn't do it because then you're just stuck <laughs> on that, right? Like you, you've pigeonholed yeah. yourself. I think one of the best things is like, I don't really uh, focus on my personal blog too much, Nev blog, but I still do update it with goals and stuff like that every month. Cool. But like I started nevblog.com back in the day as a total lark for no reason, just to like track my finances or whatever. But like having that personal home, there's something really incredible about that. There's something nice that it was just about my name. It wasn't about a specific topic because then I could change and I could talk about whatever I want. Yeah. Kind of aimlessly like try stuff out. Well, I think what's good, there's, there's a, I think that is actually really interesting in all business. Well, two things I'll, I'll highlight. Number one, it's great to have a playground, right? So with mm. okdork.com, there's no downside. Like if I fuck it all up, like there's two guys with me right now. So like I would feel bad for them, but really like there's nothing to lose. So I can try a bunch of crazy shit out, do it all there. And then if it works, kind of take those learnings and put it into AppSumo.com, which is what we do. Like, hey, this is working on YouTube. You guys copied on, on the AppSumo YouTube channel. So that's, that's number one. I think everyone should try to figure out what's the hobby or playground experiment stuff that you can throw in. The other thing uh, with OK Dork and, and Noah Kagan on YouTube or Noah Kagan Presents is that I do think it's kind of a little bit more interesting to connect with a person versus just the entity, right? Like, oh, there's Noah Kagan or there's Elon Musk versus just Tesla, the car company. Mm. And then there's a PR spokesperson. Uh, and so I think the more that you can build those relationships with the audience and those potential customers or, or whatnot, uh, it's a lot easier. We've actually seen the CPAs, the cost per acquisition, lower to connect with me than to just connect directly with AppSumo. Hmm. Well, I mean, one interesting thing to watch, speaking of the play, I like that analogy of playground or an experiments. I'm, I'm huge on doing the experiments. I've always loved those. I think one thing that you have going for you is that you have something that funds it all. So AppSumo. So you've done you've done all these side projects with varying levels of success, and some of them make money, or some of them you plow all the profits back in, stuff yeah. like that. But the thing that is the cash cow is still AppSumo, and yeah. that you you have that cash cow that allows you to fund all these other like random projects, which is kind of neat. Yeah, I mean, Bill, I was watching a Bezos interview yesterday, and he was like, "We've lost billions of dollars." And he's like, "We've literally lost billions of dollars on investments." And I think that's just an interesting concept. I think some people try to do the experiment stuff as the main thing, which is great, but really got to get the core working or find a core that you enjoy doing uh, and then create some time of experiments on the side. 